Okay guys, I got the Anchier electric bike here. A couple things about the bike. This here looks like a thermos, but it's actually the battery. Comes with this charger over here. It's got a light on it when it's uh, red, it's charging. When it's green, it's done. It's done. I checked the voltage a while ago with that multimeter right there. And it puts out uh, almost 42 volts. So this key right here is not really on off. It's just for removing the battery when you uh, go like that. The latches, there's a latch in here and you can uh, take the battery off if you wanted to. Let me show you what that looks like. There it is and the connections there. UPS damaged it here because the front of the wheel rubbed against that and a little bit on this battery and a little bit right here. This handle, there was actually a hole in the box with the UPS. So, so far that's the only thing I found wrong with it. On off button right here. This thing has a couple modes. Let me turn it on. To turn on the bike, you can't, you press on right here, but then you also have to hold down this mode button and that'll light up. So you have three modes right here. Low, medium, high, that's for pedal assist. So once you start pedaling, the motor in the back will kick on. The motor is actually in the hub right here and this this cable right here goes to down here into this box which is I guess the control box because it knows when you're pedaling. So that's the three modes but if you press this minus button right here to nothing on there's a throttle right here and as soon as you twist the throttle it'll take off. Let me see here if I can show that better. So I just twist this throttle right here. You can hear it. So I'll show you that later when I you can see this. Rest of the bike, you got your shifters right here. The, obviously these buttons to shift it. Over here it's just a straight rotary. Uh, it's got the light. You can see the light right there. And also a horn. So that horn is very loud. I've ridden the bike, it's pretty smooth. Um, but we're gonna test out some of the electrical features. One thing I will tell you is, I had it all the way in high gear. The highest gear it could possibly go, which is, uh, I believe, the big one up here, and the small one down here. And I had it in, 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 in any of these modes. As soon as you start pedaling, it's like nothing. It's like you're in first gear. And this right here is your, your battery display. Let's see if you can hear it once I start pedaling. Here it is. Once it kicks in, it's like you're in first gear. It's like you have any. You don't have to have any effort. I'm in top gear, so now I got it in high mode, and we'll see how fast we can go. So I'm going about 20 miles an hour based on what the GPS says. That's me pedaling it with the motor activated setup going on. And I'm going to switch it to uh, throttle mode. Since this is a mountain bike, we'll go off-road. Less to climb these hills and everything with the motor operated setup going on makes it so easy when I got the when I can just twist the throttle and go. Got my shoes dirty. Whew. 
you can hear me using the motor to help me go over this type of terrain here but with the motor very effortless have a pretty good uphill here so I don't know if you can see it but I'll turn around let you look what it looks like turn around see that not even pedaling now just cruising Woo, tired let this motor do some work so with the motor by itself it looks like we're doing about 16 to 17 miles an hour I'm not even pedaling it's pretty flat so I've been riding this thing mostly using the battery for about five miles and if we look here hopefully this glare's not in let's see if I can cover up some of the sun we've only used one bar of uh, battery power here's the front forks they have that uh, I guess is a shock system you can see I did go about that far because you can see the lines I took it off-road in the dirt in the mud and uh, that motor really helps out because if you're pedaling in that soft mud you would be really tired I was tired from using from pedaling even using the motor so overall gear shifts pretty smooth disc brakes work well it's got a seat it's pretty comfortable I mean this is like a mountain bike so it's not like a not like a beach cruiser or anything, but overall pretty satisfied. I'm gonna have to